Hundreds of victims of contaminated NHS blood products in Scotland will be waiting for the Penrose inquiry later. Now, this is Lord Penrose's public inquiry. It was ordered six years ago. And survivors and the families of those infected are hopeful it could contain the answers they're looking for. Bill Wright is chairman of Haemophilia Scotland and was infected with hepatitis C in the 1980s. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. What's your state of health at the moment? How are things with you? Well, after about 30 years, uh, I myself uh, now have liver cirrhosis and fibrosis and there are a number of other complications that arise from that. One of the problems with hepatitis C is that you can appear in perfectly good health, but actually the underlying liver disease means that, in actual fact, um, your state of health may be really quite serious. It's astonishing, the scale of this scandal, when you look at it, something like 30,000 UK-wide victims. But we've never really got to the bottom of why and how it happened. Are you hopeful that we're going to hear some answers today? Yes. um, I think what may well happen today is that we will see the evidence laid out in full, certainly in terms of what happened in Scotland. Um, Whether the conclusions match that evidence remains to be seen. Um, And I think in terms of the actual scale of this disaster, you're quite right. This disaster is actually bigger than anything since the war. Any transport disaster, any football stadium disaster, any any disaster at sea. And I think the difference with this particular disaster is rather than happen at a single moment in time in a single place... This is a disaster that has stretched over several years, indeed decades, and of course has been spread the length and breadth of Scotland and indeed Britain as a whole. Yeah, that that sort of incremental effect of it, as you say, has kind of crept up on us. Um, And many of the victims have now died as well before seeing the outcome of this inquiry. Is this about trying to pin down responsibility somewhere along the line and therefore also trying to determine better compensation for victims? Well, I think we're wanting a number of things out of this process. Um, Truth and justice is a commonly occurring theme uh, amongst the victims. Um, We want some answers to some questions. We want to know how we, we got to this position. We want an apology. And of course, we also want a situation where there's, there's proper financial redress, not only for the loss of income, but, but everything, put everything, everything that people have had to suffer. Mm. So what is the next step once this inquiry comes out? Well, we have to receive uh, the inquiry report at 11 o'clock. Um, and we, we, we had to start a political process in order to get the inquiry uh, started in, in the first place. And tribute has to be played. Sorry, paid to Nicholas Sturgeon, Scotland's First Minister, uh, for ordering the inquiry uh, seven years ago. Um, And we then went through a legal process conducted by a High Court judge. We now move back to a political process, and I think the case is irresistible now for government and governments to take action and and finally uh, really draw some lines under this very, very long tail. Thank you. Uh, Bill Wright, Chairman of the Haemophilia uh, Scotland Group.